Hi everyone, this is Judy Villain 26 and I might not look my best today. That's because I've been out today to see the Barbie documentary, which was so good. And you all would love it. And I'm gonna show you a few things I bought from Walmart afterwards. Or well, actually it's just one thing. But I got some treating cards from other bronies, if I can sisters too, and I wanted to show you. Becca a sweetie bell. She's so cute. She even has the green eyes. Hair. She's a cat back hair that likes to fall apart. She has her shoes from her summer outfit. And some tights that probably came from a non brand American girl outfit. So I just wanted to show you that. She has her horn. And so I'm going to show you. The first thing I'm going to show you is. I got this for four ninety nine at Walmart. It was on clearance, so I thought it would be a really cool thing to get. I've already opened it up a little bit, as you can see, but my computer was like so slowly. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna open it up a tiny bit and see what I can get out of it. So the documentary was amazing, and when John Lacey was on it, I almost died. Whoever he is, he's a Discord voice. And he's amazing. And oh my god, I just fell in love with him and his personality. He's a fun guy. And then one of the guys there was even in the documentary. He was the one, if you ever see it, he's the one from Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina. His name is Alex S. Or maybe just Alex. Here's this. Let me open it up again. Show you that it opens. Yeah. And then I met so many people there, and I didn't really decide to dress up in my dinner costume, so I knew that I would just be sitting down and then doing like nothing, honestly, except eat and watch and then join the raffle. It's not like a convention. This is the same bouquet. It's kind of like one that Pinkie Pie has in her. Cancelot Wedding Collection. Get this up. There was even a Pinkie Pie cake there made. And it was so cool. There was a girl there named Cheyenne who pretty much impersonated Pinkie Pie. was just like her and spoke like her voice was just like her. And I was afraid that she would get in trouble because she was running all over the place. And we were at a community church so we had to the place, we had to treat the place nice. Here's Twilight. And then there's so many other people too. But anyways, I was gonna say about the documentary. It should come out soon. Well, I know that like the huge release date for it is on the January 29th. I mean January 19th, and then it comes out on Blu-ray. I think only on Blu-ray sometime next month. That's all we know right now. It's not an exact date. It would be cool if it was on my birthday, February 26th, because it's on a Tuesday this year. That'd be the best thing ever. That's present, birthday present ever, kind of. So we got all these little charms off. How to wash all her hair with scalding hot water so you can get all the box hair out. Let me get this off of here. I really like Twilight Sparkle right now. I mean, there's just something I really like about her. It was a movie. It pretty much we loved. We we would cheer out of nowhere whenever we saw someone that we really liked. I screamed so loud when I saw John Lacey in it. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's the voice of Discord, and he's also he's also been on Star Trek: The Next Generation. I'm not a Trek team, I'm just seeing. The only reason why I know anything about Star Trek is because of My Little Pony. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash my hair a little bit. It's kind of greasy because it's been there for so long. But I'll have to work with her and maybe doing her bangs. But I actually really like her hair like this. How it's just down beautifully. And she has this under here. She also has, a little, has this little plastic thing here too. So let's take the necklace off and see what her body looks like.
my glove. It's kind of a different shape I want to keep I have. Here's her little dress skirt. Twilight with her cutie mark. So beautiful. We also watched the second half of the Canterlot wedding when we were there afterwards. We were originally planning on watching the whole part one, part two of Return of Harmony, which I was so psyched for. But people would like do these little discussions and be like, come on, let's just watch this chord. But they wanted to do what they wanted, so I just let them. Bed. And then here I'll show you this box that opens up too. And I got this thing in here too. You open it up. And for those of you who have always wondered what it was like inside of here, here, I'll show you what it's like. And here's the other half. The invitation. This is mirrored, it may not be, so let's put the focus get back on it. No, it's not mirrored. Shining armor and princess cheating. So I need more things like that, which is why I like better. And now I will show you the trading cards that I got there. I got these from various people who are giving them away or wanting to trade them, but I just got some because I've never had trading cards before. I've never really been a fan of them, but I got some just for the heck of it. Sweetie Ball, my favorite, Philly. Opal Latin. Apple Bloom. Sweetie Ball this time when she's regular. Rarity. Machine from the Slumber Party 101. Sea Serpent. He has where these tail on there, you see that. The schoolhouse, where the Phillies go to. The cake family. And the carousel boutique, which is very rare at Gaylords, and maybe sometimes we need all. And I tried this out. I also got the Pinkie Pie standing, and I don't know, like, they don't have a flap we put it in here. I'm just wondering, how do you do this? I didn't get the pack, so it won't tell me the exact um, details on how to do it. So if you can put it in the comments, please tell me how I can make this look as pretty as possible, because I can't wait to put Sweetie Ball, Apple Bloom, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie up in their standees. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast today, and I hope you all see the Burning Documentary. So thanks, comment, favorite, subscribe, and bye!